In this video, I will show you how to do a two-gene test cross. A test cross is a mating event used to determine the genotype of an organism with a dominant phenotype, which can either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. We do this by crossing the organism whose genotype you want to know to an organism with a recessive phenotype. If the offspring of that cross all have the dominant phenotype, then you can infer that the parent in question is homozygous for the dominant allele. If the offspring of the cross include both dominant and recessive phenotypes, then you can infer that the parent in question is heterozygous, carrying both the dominant and recessive alleles. These principles can apply to organisms you observe for phenotypes associated with one gene or multiple genes at one time. In my test cross example, we will look at two genes in pea plants. The first gene we will look at confers pea color. This gene has two alleles, a dominant allele that results in a yellow pea color and a recessive allele that results in a green pea color. So the homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes result in yellow peas, and the homozygous recessive genotype results in green peas. The second gene we will look at confers pod shape. The gene has two alleles, a dominant allele that results in the round pod shape and a recessive allele that results in a pinched pod shape. So the homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes result in a round pod and the homozygous recessive genotype results in pinched pods on the plant. In this case, we have a pea plant producing round pods and yellow peas, and we want to know its genotype. There are four possibilities for its genotype. It could be homozygous dominant for both genes. It could be homozygous for the pea color gene and heterozygous for the pod shape gene. It could be heterozygous for the pea color gene and homozygous for the pod shape gene. Or it could be heterozygous for both genes. So to find out which of these four genotypes this pea plant has, we cross it to a plant with green peas and pinched pods, because we know that means that this genotype is homozygous recessive for both genes. This plant can only pass on recessive alleles to its offspring, creating gametes only with this genotype. What you are looking for in the offspring is evidence that the parent of interest is passing on recessive alleles. If the offspring have a recessive phenotype for one or both genes, then it must have received a recessive allele from the parent of interest. That would tell you that the parent of interest is heterozygous for the gene that yields offspring with the recessive phenotype. Okay, so let's say our unknown parent is the homozygous dominant genotype for both genes. Then it can only create gametes with this genotype and the offspring of the test cross will all be heterozygous and all look exactly like the parent of interest. When the offspring all have both dominant phenotypes, that means that the parent of interest is only passing on dominant alleles and is therefore homozygous dominant for both genes. If our parent of interest has this genotype, then it can produce two different gametes. It will always pass on the dominant P color allele but it can pass on either the dominant or the recessive pod shape alleles. As such, we can see that the offspring can either have this genotype or this genotype. So we will see offspring that have both dominant phenotypes, yellow peas and round pods, and offspring that have the dominant yellow pea color and the recessive pinched pod shape. Seeing only yellow pea offspring tells you that the parent of interest is only giving dominant yellow alleles to its offspring. Seeing both round and pinched pods tells you that the parent of interest can give either the dominant allele or the recessive allele to its offspring and therefore must be heterozygous for the pod shape gene. Similarly, if your parent of interest has this genotype, then it can produce these two different gametes. As such, we can see that the offspring can either have this genotype or this genotype. So we will see offspring that have both dominant phenotypes, yellow peas in a round pod, and offspring that have the recessive green pea color and the dominant round pod shape. Just like in the last example, the fact that we see both phenotypes for the pea color 
tells us that the parent is heterozygous for that gene. And because we only see dominant pod shape phenotype in the offspring, we know the parent of interest is homozygous for that gene. Finally, if our parent is heterozygous for both genes, it can produce four different gametes. And crossing to the green pinched plant results in these four possible offspring genotypes. Let's zero in on this genotype. If you see that this yellow round parent can produce green pinched offspring, then you know it must be passing on recessive alleles for both genes and therefore be heterozygous for both genes. So as you can see, just by observing the offspring of a test cross, you can determine the genotype of the parent with a dominant phenotype. So that was an example of a two gene test cross. If you'd like to learn more, see my videos on dye hybrid crosses or pedigrees.